आई होप यू पीपल आर फाइन तो लेट्स स्टार्ट सेटिंग ऑफ दिस पेनिट्रेशन टेस्टिंग लैब सो दिस इज़ माई होस्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड आई हैव इंस्टॉल्ड विचुअल बॉक्स ऑन दिस होस्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड इन साइड विचुअल बॉक्स आई हैव टू विचुअल मशीन्स वन इज़ दी काले लिनिक्स एंड सेकेंड वन इज द मेटा एक्सप्लॉय टेबल टू एंड बोथ द मशीन आर कनेक्टेड टू ईच अदर यूजिंग दिस नेटवर्क दैट इज़ होस्ट ओनली नेटवर्क सो दिस इज कस्टम नेटवर्क विच इज़ क्रिएटेड बाय माई सेल्फ एंड दिस इज द सब नेट विच दिस नेटवर्क इज़ यूजिंग so meta exploitable is only connected uh, to the kali linux and also it is connected to the host operating system uh, using this network but it is not connected to the internet whereas the kali linux has two network one is the host only network and second one is the bridge network so uh, bridge network is used to connect the kali linux with the internet so once uh, uh, you uh, uh, download this virtual box based upon your operating system for example if you have a windows operating system or mac os or linux operating system so you download the virtual box client as as per your operating system and its installation is straight forward i won't go into the details then uh, you get the virtual machine of kali linux and uh, since we are using virtual box so this is the virtual machine for uh, kali linux so you have to download it its size is around 3. Point, i think 2 uh, gigabit gbs and this is the meta exploitable 2 and it is available on rapid7 website so you download it to it's a small size uh, file so once you download these files these would be downloaded uh, in a zip format and uh, you have to extract uh, these uh, zip files so once you extract the zip file you will get these file for kali linux and you will use uh, the vbox uh, file to install kali linux on virtual box as a virtual machine and uh, for meta exploit table you will use the vmdk file so for kali linux installation uh, you have to add the uh, this file to the virtual box and for ins installation of meta exploitable virtual machine you will uh, create a new virtual machine and you will select this file as virtual hard disk image so now i will guide you into the process so i have my meta exploitable and uh, kali linux uh, vms running inside the virtual box so Uh, for installation of kali linux you will just go here and you will click this button and uh, then you have extracted uh, this folder out of this zip file so you will go into this folder and you will uh, select the vbox file that's straight forward and uh, you just have to then start this virtual machine by clicking right click and over here so now it's power on therefore it is not showing the option but once it is powered off you uh, here you can click here to install the kali linux uh, to start the kali linux so once you will start the kali linux you will get uh, this console and its default username is kali and same is the password that's all so you will get log into the virtual machine 
and for installation of meta expertable 2 uh, you have to create a new you know virtual machine instead of adding the uh, machine so in kali linux you will just add it and start it but over here you have to do additional steps so here you will write its uh, name you can write my meta exploitable 2 and then you will select the operating system as uh, uh, linux and subsystem type would be other linux over here and here it would be 64 bit then you will just go into the hard disk over here and then in hard disk you will select uh, use an existing virtual disk file and then you can you know browse using this icon and you can select uh, this file that is meta exploitable vmdk and you will click finish once you will click finish you will get this uh, here then you will just have to start this uh, virtual machine so once you will start this virtual machine uh, you know you will get uh, the console for uh, entering the username and password so its username and password is msf admin so this is its username and same is the password msf admin now one thing more you have to do at network level is before starting these both machines you will go into the setting into the network and you will select host only network but you cannot select host only network directly first of all you have to create this host only network so these both machine would be in power off state you will go here into the virtual box console into the tools and then you will go into the host only networks and you can click here to create a new network and uh, you know you can name this network you can name the IP ranges so I am using the subnet 192.168.110 and first IP would be 1 and last IP can be 199 so this is these are the IP ranges in this network 192.168.100.110 uh, so now uh, then you will connect uh, the network cards of Meta Exploitable 2 and uh, Kali Linux uh, to this network that is host only network 1 so what you will uh, do is you will go into the setting of Meta Exploitable and you will select over here the host only network and this thing would automatically select it because it has only one host only network then you will click ok so now the IP would be assigned from that network that is 192.168.110 same goes for the Kali Linux but you will add two network cards so first network card would be in bridge mode for the internet connectivity and you will enable a second network card by clicking over here so you will click here to enable the network adopter and then you will connect this network adopter to host only network and this would be automatically selected so for virtual uh, for Kali Linux you are using two adopters one is the bridge adopter and second one is the host only network adopter and uh, for meta exploitable you are only using this single adopter that is host only network so Kali Linux would get uh, IP addresses from two networks and that is uh, the bridge network which is the same as your host operating system upon which this virtual box is running and meta exploitable would get uh, the IP address uh, from the host only network which is the virtual network and which is only connected to Kali Linux and the host operating system and it is not connected to the internet so uh, 
after doing that you will start both machines and then you will get uh, the console you will enter the username and password Kali for the Kali Linux and MSF admin for the uh, meta exploitable 2 now this meta exploitable 2 is a vulnerable machine and you will attack this machine using this Kali Linux so both are in the same network so you will uh, long, use different penetration testing techniques to attack this uh, network so here you can see if you write uh, let me write it clear over here oh, let me find the IP address so you write this command if config and uh, you can see over here that its IP address is assigned from the host only network 1 192168 110 and this is its IP address so it is assigned 3 IP address and over here you can see it's assigned the same uh, subnet IP but its IP address is 2 so this is 2 in the same subnet and this is 3 so you will attack 3 using uh, the Kali Linux and furthermore you can see that uh, another IP is also assigned to this network 192.168.100.168 so this is the IP address for the bridge network which is connected to the internet via your uh, in, uh, your modem internet modem so this was all for the uh, setup you can ping 192.168.110.3 this is the IP address of meta exploitable 2 so you can see that it is pinging so this was all and in next video I, I would also explain you know the uh, how to perform attack how to scan this machine and all that thank you stay connected